Good afternoon everybody. Today is uh, the 23rd of the 9th, which makes it a Monday. Time is 1.35pm. And uh, just spending the day in today. It's not a bad day. There was some um, sunshine earlier, but uh, yeah, it's got a little bit of cloud cover and the cold wind has returned. We've had some really beautiful weather these last couple of days. Absolutely fine hot weather. But as usual, New Zealand spring, a couple of days of nice fine sunny weather and then we have a day to a couple of days of um, cold weather. It's not raining, although it came pretty pretty close to it last night. Alrighty, okay, I'm just in the process of making myself a coffee at the moment, and I'm doing it the old-fashioned way. Oh yeah, I love my kettle coffee. Powdered coffee, yeah, that's not so bad. But, you know, you just hunger and thirst for the real stuff. Mmm. Alrighty, I think that boiled enough. Ah, right. Okay, back in a minute. Oh, <laughs> oh I get so paranoid about this thing switching itself off. I mean, I don't trust any of the batteries that I put in it. And I can't put in any um, uh, other batteries, um, I mean, you know, like chargeable batteries. One, because I don't actually have um, the money to buy any chargeable batteries, and also the ones that I have got, they um, actually hold less charge now than they did when I first got them. But mind you, I've had them for a few years, so I'm not surprised that they're um, no longer working as they should. Oh, I just roll myself a ciggy here. Good way of recycling tailor mates. Because out of every one tailor made, I get oh, a two and a bit cigarettes. And oh, isn't it always the way? I need papers to roll my cigarettes, and guess what's propping up my camera? Hang on a minute. Yeah, we. Alrighty, if you're picking up any noise in the background, that's um, uh, the um, that's one of my audio books that I've got running at the moment. It's uh, book three of uh, the Tamuli trilogy. Um, no, actually, it's book two, The Shining Ones. And it's not too bad, it's not too bad. I mean, the guy who's reading it, he's, he's pretty good, but doing female's voices, um, that guy should just um, not, not do it. Oh dear. Oh, well, never mind. Ah, right, alrighty. Now, what was I going to do? Well, apart from all the cigarette, of course, I was going to say something. Ah, bloody typical, isn't it? <laughs> oh, my goodness, bloody typical. Oh, bugger it, I'll probably remember sometime tonight, I suppose. Uh, so how's everybody out there today? You all doing well? Crimes they haven't even named as yet. Consorting with the powers of darkness. Right, I'll get this done, and... How did he know he could trust... And then I shall have my ciggy and then hopefully by then I'll have remembered what it was I was going to uh, talk to you fellas about. Okay? Here we go. Alrighty, what a beautiful day today. Really. Bugger all cloud in the sky. Well, it's not raining, let's put it that way. A little bit cold though. Ah. Hmm. Oh. Much better, much better. <sighs> Wicked. I tell you what, that gun, that spot over there looks lonely without my car sitting in it. 
bugger. <laughs> well, it's not my car anymore, but I miss it. Especially when I have to walk up to the shop to uh, go get my groceries and stuff like that. Oh well, never mind, never mind. Hmm. Okay. Alrighty, okay. Um, what should we talk about today? Okay, well I spend a lot of time on online watching um, different channels getting an update on uh, how the uh, presidential race is coming along in America. Um, I spend a lot of time doing that because um, it's really pointless trying to uh, find anything worth looking at when it comes to New Zealand politics because all uh, Jacinda Ardern can do, our Prime Minister can do, is talk about climate change and how green she is and oh my god she's so bloody useless if the if it's not a la no, Labour Party in it's national if it's not national it's the Labour Party and this goes on year, year, cycle after cycle after cycle the National Party all they want to do is sell off our resources to the highest bidder and sometimes to even the lowest bidder lowest bidder <laughs> and all um, and all Labour wants to do is buy back the um, our resources, sell off a few more resources, and um, which is really strange because doing a buyback and a sell off, I mean, it's not like they're making any money for the country. Uh, just like um, down in New Plymouth, where they've got the, uh, the New Plymouth oil fields, right? What they're doing is they're pumping huge amounts of oil out of this reservoir under the ocean, putting it on Brazilian ships to go overseas, to have overseas countries um, crack the oil down so it can be used for um, different things, right? As, as it would. But the company that's using the Brazilian ships are paying pittance for the oil and selling it back to us for a lot. I mean, we should be doing that. We should be pumping our own oil, breaking it down into its, you know, like diesel and petrol and plastics and all this sort of stuff, and enriching the country. But we're enriching other countries who sell us back the oil and the products, and basically, um, What's the opposite of uh, enriching? Um, keeping us poor. Keeping us poor and wanting more. And the government, no matter which government is, is so friggin' useless that there's nothing we can do about it. Oh, we can bitch and moan and carry on about it, but the politicians know better. Vote for me. Yeah, right. At the moment, we're going through a... Um, uh, local elections here in Hamilton and I've seen photographs of the people that are running for elected office and I'll tell you what I wouldn't put my faith in them if, if their lives depended on it honestly each one making the same promises and, and you just know by looking at them that they're not going to keep any of those promises what we need is another Donald Trump Yes, I'm a Trump supporter. I make no apology for that. In the beginning, I supported Trump for the simple fact that the Democrat Party and the Liberals and the softy, whingy, whiny lefties were, um, were bullying him, basically. I mean, he wasn't a, he wasn't a politician. He, was, he wasn't brought up as a politician. He didn't make any promises like a politician did, and when he made promises, he actually bloody kept them, and they hate him for it. And I won't stand still and let anybody bull, any, bully anybody else. Because when I grew up, well, growing up, I was bullied a lot. I was bullied at school. I was bullied out of school. Um, I was in the uh, Christian religion for 12 years. And during those 12 years, I was bullied a lot by them. And no, I finally took a stand, grew a spine and said, no, that's enough. I'm not, I'm not doing it anymore. Now, I watch a lot of, um, as I say, a lot of uh, channels here on uh, on YouTube, 
and at the moment um, I'm watching a um, uh, segment here by uh, Tim Paul is um, it's uh, Tim Cast on YouTube check him out he's pretty good the thing is he's spot on usually on a lot of things now he's he votes Democrat he's a lefty a self-confessed lefty and a Democrat voter but he thinks a lot like I do and he absolutely has a ball every time Trump calls out the, the, the woke media, the fake news, the Democrat Party, the lefties, the liberals, uh, Antifa. He calls them all out because he won't stand for their shit, the same as I wouldn't either. And one thing he's right about is that um, Trump is absolutely wiping the floor with the Democrat Party. Absolutely, he is trolling them because he's a master manipulator, just like Tim, Tim Poole says. He's a master manipulator, and I'll tell you what, it's bloody marvellous to see. I wish we had someone like him here in New Zealand. Don't ask me to do it because I get in front of a lot of people and I just go blank. That's it. Everything I've prepared to say, it goes blank. And I've heard that, uh, you know, it's nah. I've embarrassed myself too often to do that sort of thing. I'd have to have a man. have to have a hell of a lot more um, basically self-esteem and balls of brass than I do now and <laughs> it's amazing I mean the Democrat Party I can't believe how useless they are I can't believe how you Americans can sit there and put up with it I mean there's so many criminals criminals in the Democrat Party that are openly criminal and your Department of Justice, your law enforcement agencies, CIA, FBI, all, all the um, alphabets are doing nothing. They're just letting them carry on. Don't worry, we got your back. Sweet as. We're looking the other way. Do what you want. And I'm thinking to myself, holy bloody Jesus, mate. That, that's amazing. Honestly. If the average man, woman or child did even a portion, slim portion of what your politicians, your Democrat politicians are doing, my God, they'd be in jail faster than they could blink. They'd have life sentence upon life sentence upon life sentence. And yet your politicians, the Antifa, they're allowed to just walk in, bully anyone they like, beat the crap out of them, put them in hospital, Nah, we're going to look the other way. Do nothing. Oh, that is absolutely amazing. I mean, I cannot believe what your Democrat politicians are doing to places like um, Chicago and um, Los Angeles, uh, you know, like California. Really? Where people are openly defecating in the streets and the cops are not allowed under pain of being fired and charged to arrest them. People just do whatever they want. They're turning the California state of California into a rubbish tip. And there's nothing nobody will do about it. Really. Oh, it's no wonder the rest of the world is laughing at you, America. Really. We do not take you seriously. Really. Man. I mean, really. The only... The only, the only American that we seem to take seriously is Donald Trump because at least he's doing something or at least he's trying to do something but he keeps getting tripped up and hamstrung every step of the way for every five steps forward he's sliding back three because nobody will back him up nobody has the guts or the balls to actually stand up and say hey I'll stand with you I'll support you really no matter what I read on Facebook where people say that they're they're Trump supporters they go to his rallies in their thousands yet your establishment will not support him Dem uh, the uh, not Democrats the, the Republicans oh yeah we're behind you Donald Trump yeah we're about fucking five miles behind you but we're behind you yeah open your mouth say whatever you want while we we scurry around and hide in holes Oh, sorry about that. Bloody batteries. Useless. 
oh man, I really got to invest in some better batteries, but no matter which brand I try, I only get a, only get a few minutes of uh, good quality time with them and then my camera shuts off, change the batteries. Oh, anyway, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it there. And, uh, yep. I just, well, I'll be keeping abreast of what's going on. And that bloody AOC, man, I'd love to slap that bitch a fucking good one. Damn. It's amazing she's allowed to mouth off. She lives in a clown world all of her own, honestly. Yeah. Bernie Sanders, really? Oh, that sort of crowd wants to run our country and yet they can't even run their own states properly. It's amazing. Absolutely. Alrighty. Okay, I'm going to leave it there uh, just in case this bloody camera uh, clicks off again. Okay. Be cool. Take care of each other. Love each other. Don't forget to uh, be, um, don't forget to like, subscribe, click the bell for more notifications. And uh, yeah, if you do that for me, absolutely great. I would be, I would appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I'll um, make another one as soon as I can. Alrighty, catch you later, folks. Bye.